Hello again, my name is Mrs. Leela Thomasone. I am a dating, relationship, and marriage mentor, and I love to help women find their married bliss and manifest the marriage of their dreams like I was able to with my husband Derek and my two beautiful girls. Um, so today, the question is, am I ready to date? How do you know when you're ready to date? So I want to give you three things you need to do to be ready to date. So the first thing you need to do is write out your love list. What do you need to find in a man, in a relationship? These, this is really important to think about um, before you start dating. There's a funny thing that happens when we start dating, we go out on dates, we kind of lose our head and lose our direction of what exactly we need to find before we accept um, the man who's sitting in front of us and saying he wants to commit to us. So this is um, really, really important. Think about what kind of relationship you want to have and what is most important for you in terms of qualities to find in your, um, your spouse or your partner, your companion. Um, what are the features and characteristics that are most important that you need in a relationship? And um, what I find as a dating and um, relationship coach is that um, women are looking for a masculine man. So as with that as a guideline, that can be really helpful for writing your love list and thinking about what you want to find in a man. What makes a man masculine? Um, so this could be that he's decisive, that he's strong, that he's protective, that he's a good provider, um, that he's disciplined and hardworking. Those are just some thoughts, but those are some of the things that um, will um, the masculine characteristics that will make a man a good um, partner in a relationship or a husband in a marriage if that's what you're looking for. So that's the first thing to write out what you want in your um, partner in your love list. The second thing is to know how to use it. And um, so how you use that is that you go back and you consult that um, when you're dating to check and see if a man that you're dating or that you're seeing or considering, um, you know, having a relationship with, whether he satisfies and fulfills um, your love list. So that's one way you use it. Another way you use it is to figure out what are the reciprocals of those qualities that you're looking for in your love list. What do you need to be to attract the man that has those qualities? So for example, if you want him to be generous, then you need to be good at receiving. If you want him to give you gifts or to um, be generous with his time um, and, and just giving towards you in the relationship, then you need to be good at receiving in the relationship. And that is not as easy as it sounds. That can be really, really hard for women, but it is a feminine characteristic that you should um, spend some time and um, cultivate in yourself, just as an example. So if you're looking for a masculine man and you want him to have these masculine characteristics, whatever they may be, then what is the opposite of those characteristics that would go along with um, the masculine ones? Does that make sense? So you're going to balance each other out and you're gonna, going to attract that masculine man if you are the feminine woman who is able to accept those masculine characteristics. Is that making sense? So like I said, if you want him to be giving, then you need to be receiving. Um, another good one is if you want him to be entertaining or interesting, then you need to be interested and entertained. So, um, you know, it's pretty well known that um, it's attractive to a woman when a man is funny and makes her laugh, right? So if you want a funny man, then you need to be willing to laugh and you need to 
um, kind of laugh sort of easily, right? Like, um, it can't be like impossible to make you laugh if you want to have a guy, if you want to attract a guy who is funny. Is that making sense? So, um, so that's number two. You need to know how to use your love list. Number three is to have a support system. You need to have um, one word is strategy. Um, another word is structure. To have some kind of a structure around um, what you're doing on your when you're dating. Um, my uh, uh, suggestion and advice is to date with a purpose and to date for marriage, to know that what you want, if you want to get married, that that's the purpose of dating is that you are looking um, for your spouse. If you want to get married, don't date for any other purpose because that's going to um, pull you further away from your goal and it's going to waste your time and make you feel really bad if you haven't um, actually taken steps to fulfill your desire. Um, is that making sense? So. What I mean by that is that if you if you have in the back of your mind that you want to get married, but then you go and date someone who doesn't want to get married and they don't think highly enough of you to fulfill that desire of yours, then you're going to feel bad about yourself. Um, so that's what you want to avoid and that's why you want to date with a purpose and have a support system and a structure in place that helps you um, work towards that goal. Um, and the, so that's why you've done the love list, that's why you determine your purpose, that's why you work on being the reciprocal of that love list, and that's also why you consult with um, other women who have the kind of relationship that you want. So that's kind of another component of that support system would be to um, have uh, feminine friends, have women friends, married friends who have the, really, the kind of relationship that you want. They will be very, very helpful and supportive in, um, in your dating life. Um, and that is my advice and my recommendations on what you need to have in place in order to be ready to date. So if you don't have any of those three things, then I would not recommend that you date. I would not say you're ready to date. Um, that would be my list of the three things you need to have in place in order to know that you are ready to date. So again, my name is Mrs. Leela Thomasone, and please feel free to leave me a comment or question. Um, let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree with my list of what you need um, to be ready to date and know if you're ready to date? And um, if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the thumbs up and share and subscribe. Um, make sure you've hit that bell um, icon so you're getting notifications of new videos. And thank you so much for joining me. I'm really, really happy to be here with you. And um, if you want to see more from me and hear more from me, then please go to my website, limitlessbylila.com. Um, my name is spelled L-E-I-L-A, and um, the name of the business is Limitless by Leela.com and there you can subscribe to my email list and get lots more updates as well as my Married Bliss Masterclass which has all my secrets of how to manifest your married bliss. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next time. Bye!